solve each of the following by using graph sketching, number line method or table method. So a x square is smaller than 4. So x square minus 4 is smaller than 0. So x minus 2, x plus 2 is smaller than 0. So you can get x is equal to 2 and negative 2. So, so we can see when x is equal to 0, y is equal to negative 2 times 2 which is negative 4. So it will be negative 2, 2 and this one should be negative 4. So the graph should be something like this. Alright. This is the graph sketching method. This one is graph sketching. Now we can check when x is equal is smaller than negative 2. For example, if x is negative 3, if x okay. So we test example x is equal to negative 3. So we get negative 3. So here negative 3 minus 2. Negative 3 plus 2. So we get negative 6 times negative 1. So we will get positive value. So here we test with x is larger than 2 or maybe x is equal to 3. So we see 3 minus 2 times 3 plus 2. So we get positive 1 times 5, positive, positive. So here we will get positive value. So here inside, so for example, we test x is equal to 1. So 1 minus 2 and 1 plus 2. So we get negative 1 times 3. So we get negative value inside. So we get negative value inside. negative so we see here this one is smaller for the y is smaller than zero y is smaller is than zero is in the range negative two and two this is negative so x is in between negative two and two line method so same so you have x is negative two And 2 so range in between is x in between negative 2 and x is between 2 and here is x is smaller than negative 2 here x is larger than negative 2 so we test point so x is equal to 4 x is equal to negative 3 so before we get negative value we get positive value And here we test x is equal to positive 3. We also get positive value. So here we get negative value. And we see this one for the equation y is smaller than 0. So for smaller is in between. So x is in between negative 2 and 2. Table method. We test one by one. So for x is smaller than 2 negative 2 x is larger than negative x is larger than 2 and x in between negative 2 and 2 so, so x minus 2 x plus 2 and x minus 2 x plus 2 so, if x is smaller than negative 2, for example, we try negative 3. Negative 3 minus 2, we get negative value. And if smaller than negative 3 plus 2, we still get negative value. So, for here, if we use uh, in between, for example, if we use 0, 0 minus 2 is negative value. 0 plus 2 is positive value. For here, x is larger than 2. For example, we take 3. 3 minus 2 is positive value 3 plus 2 is positive value so we see here when we multiply these two negative times negative is positive negative times positive is negative positive times positive is positive so we see here the value here should be lower than zero so the value is in between which is x is in between negative 2 to 2 
So the, there is three method, which is uh, graph sketching, number line method, or table method. So the easiest way for inequalities if larger than zero, you just remember for inequalities. See, if larger than zero, that means you just remember larger outside and smaller mean the range inside. So this one, larger than zero, range outside, smaller than zero, range inside. So you see here, for B, 2 minus X, 8 minus X is smaller than 0. So we can see, you get X is equal to 2 and X is equal to 8 minus X is equal to 0, X is equal to 8. So you see, here it should be 2 and 8. But then you know, if smaller, smaller than 0 means the range is inside. So X is in between 2 and 8. C, x square is smaller than 4x plus 12. So, x square minus 4x minus 12 is smaller than 0. So, x minus 4 times 3, 6 times 2. 6 times 2, x minus 6, x plus 2 is smaller than 0. So, x is equal to 6 and x is equal to negative 2. You see here, so when you sketch... Negative 2 and 6. So you see here this one is smaller than 0. So smaller means the range is inside. So the range is inside. So when the range is inside, x is in between. Don't forget between or equal to negative 2 and 6. x, x minus 2 is larger than 3. So, x square minus 2x is larger than 3. x square minus 2x minus 3 is larger than 0. So, you see here, x minus 3, x plus 1 is larger than 0. So, if you is equal to 0, x is equal to 3 and x is equal to negative 1. So, when you sketch graph, you get negative 1 and 3. And then you see, larger than 0... So, larger than 0, the range is outside. So, the range is outside. When the range is outside, means this side, x, is smaller than negative 1. But don't forget, if you have the equal sign, you must put the equal sign. And here, x is larger than 3. So, the, so x is smaller than negative 1 and x is larger than 3. E, x plus 2 square is smaller than 2, x plus 7. So, we expand, we get x square, 2 times 2, 4, 4 times x is 4x, plus 4 is smaller than 2x plus 7. So, we bring at one side, x square plus 4x minus 2x plus 4 minus 7 is smaller than 0. So, x square plus 2x minus 3 is smaller than x plus 3 x minus 1 is smaller than 0. So if we make it equal to 0, we get x is equal to negative 3, x is equal to 1. So when we draw, we get negative 3 and 1. Then you check smaller than 0. Smaller than 0 means smaller than 0 means inside. So inside here. So x is in between negative 3 and 1. So this one is smaller than, not smaller or equal. So just smaller than. So s is in between negative 3 and 1. F 3x plus 1. 5 minus x is larger than 13. So 3 times 5 is 15x. 3 times negative x is minus 3x square. 1 times 5 is plus 5. 1 times negative x is minus x. So this one we bring to the left, we become minus 13 is larger than 0. So we have here negative 3x square, 15 minus x is plus 14x. And 5 minus 13 is minus 8 is larger than 0. Since we want this one to be positive, so 
we divide everything with negative 3 divide with uh, negative 3 this one will become lower than 0 so we get 3x square minus 14x plus 8 is smaller than 0 so this one we will get 3x minus 2 x minus 4 is smaller than 0 so we get x is equal to 2 over 3 and x is equal to 4 so when we draw here we get 2 over 3 and 4 so 2 over 3 and 4 smaller than 0 means the range is inside so the range is inside here so x is in between 2 over 3 and 4 this one is only to sketch so 2 over 3, 2, 4.